Hello, my name is Jürgen Köhler. I'm a keyboard player from Frankfurt, Germany. And today we're gonna talk about connecting an external analog instrument to main stage and add some effects in main stage and integrate it to a patch. So as you see, um, I got this old CX-3 organ and uh, my roadies like 20 years ago, they um, made some fun out of it um, called adding some letters. It's not cork, it's corgel because in German it's not organ, it's orgel. So that's kind of funny. Mm. Thanks guys, um, thanks for your work anyway. Um, was a great time with you. So we need to connect this analog instrument to the sound card. So I put um, this output from the instrument to an input of my sound card. So I choose the first input on my RME Fireface UC and plug it in. Then we need to start main stage. And we just take a very plain, simple concert from the presets of Apple. This keyboard minimalist. Okay, so uh, if you want to hear the organ, we need to add another channel strip, audio, and choose input number one because I connected it to my sound card. Great. And there we go. Now we can listen to the instrument. Just a plain organ. And I don't like the uh, internal rotary effect of that organ. It's like that. It's a bit cheesy and cheap. It's not a real good rotary effect. So um, we add a rotary effect to the audio FX in this channel strip. So I choose audio units, UVI, that's, that's the rotary effect from UVI is pretty good. Um, mono to stereo, this is a mono input and maybe we like a stereo Leslie effect. There it is. And now I choose a preset from the organ presets. It's happy skew. Now the organ sounds like that. All right. So one thing we all need on stage is to control the speed mode of the rotary with a foot pedal. We don't like to do it on the screen. So we need to add a foot pedal to control it. I just got this Yamaha foot pedal to do this and we need to connect it to the computer. So I just purchased this pretty little interface from pedal to MIDI. It's uh, called Media Expression from Audio Front, and uh, you can program it so what it, it'll send if you um, push the pedal. But for this demonstration, it doesn't matter how it is programmed, it'll work anyway. So I connect this interface to my computer, and then I connect the pedal to the interface. Now we go to Layout. There's already a pedal over there. We click that one, say assign, and I push the pedal. There is media expression. Sending the control change number 74 on channel seven. Doesn't matter for us because we'll change it anyway. The type is absolute. Uh, we need uh, press and release. So if we push the pedal once, the speed mode should change. And if we push it again, the speed mode should go back. So press and release. All right, so back to edit. Now we need to assign this one to the speed mode. I click the pedal, saying override concert mappings. Going to unmapped, and there you find the audio channel strip, not named yet. And just on the bottom, there's the rotary. If we go down, we find the speed mode. So right now, Okay, so we can control the speed mode of this rotary effect with this little pedal and this pretty nice interface. Quite easy and uh, you can add uh, some more effects to this organ if you like more overdrive or 
um, a chorus or tremolo. It's easy, you can just add them to the Audio FX channel strip. All right, so that's it for today with this external instrument adding some effects on main stage. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon for the next tutorial. <laughs>